One of my favorite parts of CDHS is how warm and welcoming it is. I love the school. I actually uh, went to high school here. Because it's a small school, we get to know the students. Whether it's through extracurriculars or teaching them or just having conversations with them. I really like that it's a tight-knit community. Very comfortable, especially growing up in Campbellford. One of the unique opportunities that grade nines have coming into our high school is there's a two credit package class that they can take. It's called GeoVenture and it's their geography and their phys ed credit um, packaged together in a two period class. Snowshoeing, camping, going into Ferris Park and hiking, learning to use a uh, GPS and guide themselves through the bush. Art and English are more of my passions when it comes to school. Our grade 11 English class is in Indigenous Voices. It brings Indigenous voices and the culture into the classroom. We have a writer's craft course in grade 12. It's just very fun. You get to be creative, get to make friends and talk with people. I'd like to go into health science program in university. From high school, I feel like I'm being well prepared for it. We have university chemistry, biology, physics. Advanced functions, calculus and vectors. We have the kinesiology course, which is a grade 12. UM level course and then we also have personal fitness which is a grade 11 course with our fitness room which is probably one of the best in the board. Specialist high skills majors started with arts and culture and construction. We added business and then health and wellness. We can help them connect their high school studies to real world opportunities outside of this building. We get them certifications like first aid, CPR, WMIS, chainsaw safety. Students also do a co-op placement, and co-op is such a wonderful opportunity to test drive a field of work. We have really great trades programs, manufacturing with welding built into that, auto shop, and we have construction woodworking classes for our students. We try and get a lot of hands-on experiences uh, for the uh, students, working with industry standard tools. We recently started a, a shed uh, program, so we had a local community partner who donated a lot of uh, funds to us. We build the sheds, then we sell them, then we can take that funding and then to keep doing a shed for each year. One of our school improvement plan goals is to increase our knowledge around Indigenous practices. So we're currently working with Elder Melody Crow and a local Indigenous artist to create a mural in the school that reflects our Indigenous ties and communities in Trent Hills. We do have some really great arts opportunities for our students here, and then we have our band program. They're spectacular and they're award-winning. I'm actually a graduate of the program myself. Any student can come in in grade nine and learn an instrument. We run a jazz program here at the school, and we have repertoire courses which run outside of the normal school day where students can earn an extra credit. There's a long-standing tradition at the school participating in Music Fest Canada, and there are 25-time national gold standard winners. I really like the extracurriculars here as well. Especially for how small our school is, we offer a lot. My favorite extracurriculars here are definitely the varsity hockey, the badminton. I played high school football in grade 10 and our team won the Eastern Ontario Championship. We have a wide variety of extracurriculars, cross country, we also have girls volleyball running now, boys basketball, soccer, rugby, baseball, beach volleyball. For track and field, most of us go to CASA and most of us go to Pafsa East Regionals. We're pretty proud of that. I'm a part of the student council as well. We've done Terry Fox, we've done bake sales, we've done a buyout for volleyball where people can make teams of six and seven and sign up for two periods in the gym and we hosted a volleyball tournament. I applied to Rotary Action Student Program in Poland and now I'm studying here for one year. I'm in student council and I like the school community, period days or the activities. That's really great. Student council helps bring the community together, the school together. We have things running at lunch, before school, after school, and there really is something for everybody at the school. It helps students get involved in the school and be part of the school community. All the staff are really supportive. We have open door policies and guidance and student success. As a student here, I found a safe space, and as a teacher here, as an educator, I strive to make an inclusive classroom. We have the resource room right next to the library. Students can go there and really try and catch up with the support of other staff. We also have guidance offices, student success. We make sure that our grade eights coming into grade nine have great transition opportunities in place. 
just gives them that sense of what the first day is going to be like. Going into grade nine, it's just easy to meet people here. I made a lot of friends here. This experience is really important for my life. It's nice to come back and uh, give back to the school that, uh, that I had so many years of enjoyment uh, being a part of. I think this school has helped me out a lot with prepping me for my future, and I'm excited to see where the future goes. Welcome to Caleford District High School.